Namaste, love and light, water signs. I hope all is well with you guys. I send y'all my love, light, abundance, and prosperity. Happy Saturday and happy June. This is going to be for the month of June. You know, I guess for the rest of the month of June. And it's the new moon today, so... Y'all, do y'all feel like cool energy? The energy feel real cool, okay? I'm getting like ice queen energy. Ooh, I know exactly what cards to use. All right, y'all could have been like the queen of swords energy, just like cutting people off or your higher self is giving that presence of like the ice queen, like she's not playing any games, okay? Um, self -love. I feel like you've been analyzing yourself and you've, been analyzing the energies water signs that match with you and don't match with you that's in alignment with you and that's not in alignment basically you've been trying to figure out what energy you need to cut out of your life figure out what energy that night not we figure out but like come up with a, a way okay to like cut them out of your energy okay or you're just coming up with a plan on how you're going to walk away or cut cut that cord. Okay, cut them out of your energy. All right, so let's see. Hold on, I'm going to get my other deck. Hold on. Okay, so yeah. First call that for talk, y'all. So... Somebody feels stuck here. Self-reflection. You see, y'all have been reflecting on yourself. It's like you've been doing a lot of inner work and you've been trying to get yourself out of like this dark place that somebody been trying to put you in. Someone was trying to use their free will water signs to go against you. Pretty much try to play God in your life because they thought that they knew they was right about you. All right. And they was not right. All right, it was never right all along, and I feel like that's what they're realizing, that they was never right about you. It was just their own projections because they're judgmental. Yeah, you guys are really strong. I was thinking of the word fortitude. It says courage and pain and adversity. That's why I was getting the ice queen. Like, you're really brave. It's like you have strength of your mind, strength of character, strength, courage, more strength. It's your spirit. Your spirit is very strong, strong like the ice queen, and I feel like you have gifts. You have strong psychic gifts, water signs. And I feel like you had or have a karmic that is jealous, okay? Look, change. You guys are going through a life change, water signs. This is awesome. Your dreams is coming true. Yeah, I feel like keep using discernment, okay, at this time, this time because your discernment is letting you know who's real and who's fake. I, it's almost like somebody does not want you to know who you are, who you truly are, okay, starseeds. And I feel like they evil line, you real heavy, starseeds. It's like this is someone that's been trying to use voodoo or hoodoo to call justice in their life okay to call justice like send you justice in a sense of karma all right like they feel like you caused them an injustice in their life and that you owe them or, or I guess, yeah like they saying like you i guess you owe them something like they want to send karmic justice to you so you can be served justice for something that you didn't even do it's, it seems very confusing what this person's trying to do here all right because it's, it's coming out all weird and it's almost like they could be trying to find loopholes it's not working here okay i feel like someone is also trying to mess with your business you guys are going through a beautiful change yeah somebody's in competition all right they're in competition competition between you and your life okay i mean between your life and their life there we go they're in competition with you and your life okay it's like a and I'm getting between. It's like they always comparing y'all two. All right. Between me and Divine Feminine, who you feel is better? Like they be asking people questions like that. Yeah, this person lost. But like they be asking people certain questions. Okay, let's just give an example. This is someone that could be like going to like another like witch, right? Or someone who they know is spiritual. And they're like, well, tell me about this, that, and the third. You know, do, does that sound right? Or can this happen if da, 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 da? And those people are giving them the answers, whether they like it or not. They're getting those answers. And I feel like whatever answers they're getting, they're not feeling fulfilled. Okay, this person's going through a loss right now. Yeah, they're being taught a lesson. Yeah, they, this is what they get for trying to mess with your discernment. They didn't want you to know that they was attacking. They did all this shit 
just so you won't know that they're attacking you. Like, this is petty. Like, whatever they was trying to do to you was, like, petty. All right? Like, they did all this trying to block your crown, your third eye. Also, you won't know, all right, about them doing spell work on you. All right? It's all about you knowing the facts. And they don't want you to know the facts, okay? They don't want you to... It's like they don't want you to be the queen, okay? But you're not a queen. You are impress, okay? You already mastered that queen hood. <laughs> now you are impress, okay? That queendom ship, okay? And now you are impress. I don't know why I get queendom ship. I don't know why. All right, but it's like they don't want you to be a master of your own power. Like they don't want you to master your powers. This is someone that's sick. All right, they're like you see, and I've been trying to avoid this karmic energy, but it seems like they just won't leave. Like they're like a pest. They just keep coming back no matter how many times you squash them. It's like they just keep coming back for more. It's like they rejuvenating themselves and coming back for more. This is real sad. Somebody could be using their family members for healing. I don't know why I'm getting that. Yeah, you wise. You guys know what's up. Y'all know what's up, water signs, and, and they can't trick you. Grow within your current situation. They see that you're growing from this here. You're, you're, it's like whatever pain or suffering they try to cause in your life, you're growing from it. It did not permanently um affect you or infect you like how they wanted it to and that could be another reason why they feel like a fail as they should because what they did was was wrong okay they didn't do right by you Somebody's a trick. Like a karmic um, prostitute I'm getting. This karmic could have like tricky ways. They, they could actually be a trickster. Or they could be like a whole like slutty ways. Yes, yeah, some of you guys or a lot of you guys are on a podcast, okay, or on a platform. Or you have your own podcast, you're on a platform. And people are like stealing your content, stealing your energy. It's like these people could sense and feel you going through a cosmic celestial shift. Like your life is changing. Like, you are the cosmic egg, and it's like, you guys are ready to crack. That egg is ready to be cracked, and what's within that that eggshell, all right, is your light, okay? It's like, you guys are to see the light, and you guys been reintegrating with new potentials, right? That's that light, all right? It's like new age light. This light is for the new age water signs. These people just don't get it, and they don't need to get you. They don't need to get it. They, they, they trying to calculate you, analyze you, and they just can't because you guys are different. They're not made to figure you out. All right, you was made for these people. This new you, this new light is made for them not to figure out. All right, but I literally see you guys cracking and you guys are shining. Within you is that new age of light. All right, you guys evolve. You go, you're going through like a spiritual evolution right now. All right, you're spiritually evolving, okay? A spiritual evolution, spiritually evolving. Huge, powerful spiritual evolution, and I feel like they're hating on that. I hate to say it, but it's true. All right, some of y'all, I'm getting y'all blue. Your aura could be blue. Blue represents water. All right, blue is also calm, emotional, intuition, sensitive, imaginative. Y'all could be feeling a lot of other people's emotions because they need healing. Blue is a healing color, believe it or not, and that's also communication. Maybe these people want to communicate with you how they feel. They want to communicate how you made them feel, but they don't want to hear how they, how you, how, they made you feel. They want to tell you how you made them feel, but they don't talk about how they made you feel. Didn't I say that first? They want to talk about how you made them feel. Yeah, exactly. But they don't want to talk about how you, how they hurt you. <laughs> anyway. These people got to heal. We are in Saturn retrograde. These people got to do the shadow work or they're not going to evolve. They're just going to stay stuck in karmic energy. Saturn is not going to keep them ascended. Saturn is going to keep them suppressed. All right. It's going to be a lot harder for them to move forward. So it's best if they just heal. Y'all going through beautiful changes. Everyone said that you can't do it. You are not going to do it. You don't have the energy to do it. You don't have the power to do it. And it's all because it was jealous and they didn't want to see you winning. It's like they're trying to like make fun of your age. Are you too old or you too young or you're too immature? All right. They try to say something like you too immature, childish, 
or your inner child is wounded, somebody really try to, like, check you, scrutinize you, and it, it all stemmed from jealousy, I'm telling y'all. They was projecting. They didn't want to see you win from the start. All right, they never wanted to see you win from the start, and I feel like y'all trusted this person. All right, now it's a fail. Some of y'all used to play Mario Kart. That's what I'm getting. Or y'all could have saw the Mario movie, Super Mario Bros. movie with your children, or maybe your children want to see that. Ooh, look. They want your forgiveness, water signs. They do, but they can't have control over you. So that's the reason why they're, like, backing off because they know if they're trying to come into your life, they're not going to be able to control you. Your ancestors ain't going to allow them to control you. That's why they mad. They mad at your ancestors for telling you about what the fuck they done. They could be mad at the ancestors overall, like Orisha, any other ancestors, Shiva, Kalima. They're mad, all right, that the spirits told you the truth. Somebody could be trying to say those aren't your ancestors, Kalima, Shiva, Orisha. See, some, somebody was mad in their feelings, and they allowed their ego to drive them insane because they wanted you to feel powerless, all right? They wanted you to feel like they was more powerful than you. This is sad. Somebody wants to be pregnant. I keep getting this. I got this in my collective reading. Yeah, someone is crazy running around saying they're pregnant. They're not even pregnant. This could be a, a karmic feminine going around saying she's pregnant, she's pregnant. Just to block a divine masculine from coming into your life water signs, or you could be a divine masculine. That's a water sign. And she's lying, saying she's pregnant. She ain't no fucking pregnant. All right, take care of yourself, okay? Water signs, please. Don't allow this person to get to you. You're very wise. You know pretty much everything that you need to know. Anything else that you try to force to know I'm getting could be delusion. All right? Force delusion? This person trying to force delusion, like, in your mouth. I mean, in your head, all right? And I said in your mouth, wow, because I was also thinking that too. Like, they're, they're trying to force you to say things, all right, that you don't even mean to say. They're doing spell work to, like, make you admit to things that's not true. It's almost like they're trying to force certain words down your throat. Sound weird, right? And they also trying to, you know, force certain things in your head to make you, or thoughts, I should say, you know, force certain thoughts in your mind to make you think a certain way and for you to force certain words down your throat. I know we are right to make you say certain things or you could stop saying certain things. OK, bind and tie up your, your, your throat. This is sad. This is someone that's doing a lot of spell work on you. They, it's because you're wise and they don't want you to be wise. They didn't think that you were so wise and they feel like you tricked them. How did you trick them? They trying to say, like, you try to come off like you ain't know anything. Look, my light turned off. Wow, that's confirmation. All right, somebody's lights could be off or somebody's light is dim. Like, your light is, is, it's like when your light shines, their light dims. That's what I'm seeing. As you shine brighter, their light dims more. Like, and I feel like it's stemming from insecurities, a.k.a. jealousy. All right, next to threaten is insecure and jealous. All right, but this person, the thing is, they underestimated you. It's not that you didn't know anything. You did need help. This person could be trying to say, oh, you try to come to me as if you need help and you already know what to do. This could be with spirituality. Maybe they're trying to say, oh, I, you you came to me, asked me questions about spirituality as if you didn't know. And it's not that you, well, they're trying to say, like, as if you didn't know and you didn't know. But it's not like you know everything. And it's not like you didn't know everything. Either there's some things you did know and there's some things you didn't know. You get what I'm saying? They just underestimated you and they try to make it seem like, you know, everything in your mind don't make sense and you do need their help. But at the same time, they're mad and triggered because you wise. This is all subconscious, though. This trigger because you wise. This is all subconscious. Ooh, look. Then I tell y'all the ice queen. This person trying to say you delusional because you speaking the truth. And this is why you in this ice queen energy. You're not opening up your energy to this person no more because they really try to, like, drive you insane. And this, this person needs to do a lot of inner work. They need to work on themselves. They need to analyze themselves here. They need to be more self-reflective. They're not self-reflective at all. Okay? And they're, they're, they're not nice. They're very bitter. Yeah, they need to, listen, they really need to analyze themselves and analyze their motives and their character. All right? She's, this is someone, it could be a she, right? This is someone that's very, like, obsessed with themselves, but not in a good way. Well, anyone obsessed with themselves wouldn't be all that good. But this is someone that obsessed over their insecurities. Like, I need this more. I need that more. I need to look like this. I need to look like that. I need to feel this way. I need to feel that way. I don't feel important. You got what I'm saying? It's like, this is someone that needs to do shadow work. They need to do shadow work this um 
sad and retrograde. That's what's going to heal them. And I feel like you, listen, this is your light. Your life reflecting back to this broad that she needs to do shadow work. And you're the ice queen. She's not going to break down your barrier. You're not going to allow her this time around or ever. As if you ever allowed her to try to break down your barrier all right, and, and try to project her baggage onto you because she's mad at the world and she hates to see you and other people winning. She's not going to try to tear down your barrier, your boundaries, because she's mad at herself in the world. All right, let's just say that because she's mad at herself. Yeah, she needs to gain proper inspiration and properly create, not copycat. All right, it's like this is someone that's stealing your messages, your celestial messages, water signs. If you guys are on a platform, they're stealing your stuff, okay? They're stealing your messages. They are. And they know that they are here. This is someone that's trying to say, I'm liberated and free like you. They're watching. Somebody could be like a Freemason or something like that, water signs. Okay, I keep getting Well, I ain't keep getting it. I got that for a while, actually. But not recently. But I was getting that from, like, last year. Okay, these people are delusional. Like, they will watch you, and they'll think that you talking about them. Some of y'all on a platform, for real, like me. And they will watch you, like, oh, you talking about me because you know me. Like, these are people that's obsessed with themselves. They need healing. It's like, how many times do they need to hear the same thing over and over? That's what I'm also getting. All right, like, this is someone that needs healing, and they need to be told over and over that they need healing and how they need to be healed. Like, the spirits already done told them through other mediums what they need to do. They're not doing the proper work. Yeah, these are people that want to bring harmonic resolution to whatever negativity they projected onto you because they know they was wrong, but they're too prideful to admit that to you or come to you correctly. It's like they would rather come to you angry than come to you correct. And I feel like they need to transmute their anger towards you into, like, empathy you know like because they they too much in that apathy energy and they need to be more empathetic all right they need to be more compassionate they need to transmute that negativity and anger into compassion they're not compassionate you guys this is why you know their creativity is blocked it's like this person they kept coming for you in and out of your energy this is someone their crown is blocked they can't connect with their creative side they can't connect with any creative ideas and they're really trying to blame you for that water signs and it's not your fault you didn't do anything, all right? You guys, I feel like your crown right now is in that power of inspiration, inspirational creation. Like I said, you guys are inspirational. I told y'all this in my collective reads, all right? So clearly, y'all got water placements or, you know, I got some water signs watching me, right? But, or y'all could be cross-watching. All the way it goes, I tell my collective, all right, that they are inspirational. You are an inspiration, and you guys are Whatever you guys are creating, it's inspiring. All right, with this alchemy, you guys created something, you know. It's like you it's like you transform something. I'm, I'm almost seeing like you building something from the ground up too. All right, but with this alchemy, you guys really created something. And it's like, it's, I'm getting transformed something too. All right, maybe, hmm. This could be like transforming the world, the planet. Whatever you're creating is transforming. All right? It's transforming into inspirational creation. That's why you need to keep moving forward. All right? That's why you need to keep moving forward and don't give up. Okay, alchemy, the elements, innovation. Yeah. You're creating something that's for the future. All right? And it's like unfolding. Okay? That's why I was getting that transformation. It's like whatever you're creating, whatever is inspirational to the world, is actually bringing transformation all right, around the planet. Okay? It's like your good energy is, is causing alchemy right now. Transmutation of the negativity into positive energy. And you guys are activating a lot of people crowned by the knowledge and wisdom that you're sharing. Okay? It's like this can even be like you guys out on the streets. Talking to somebody, talking to good neighbors, all right, talking to certain friends, certain family members, people that want to listen, people that want to help. You are inspiring them to, for change. Like, not everyone want to be stuck in the matrix. Not everyone want to be stuck in the dark, all right? Some people actually want to evolve spiritually. Some people actually want to heal. Some people actually want to do the soul work. You got a lot of people in fear, though, that's afraid to tap in because they think of their past come to mind. They start thinking of their past, and they be like, that's too heavy. I don't want to deal with this. I was better off. When I was just running the streets, you know, you know, cold hearted, not giving a fuck. You know, there's some just just some people that's just like that. They're NPCs. They're just not made for the real world. 
Okay, they're not. They may think that they are because of how the way they've been living, but you know that's not really a truly good way to to live. Water signs. Okay, this person they lost spiritually and they feel like you know a loss like in their heart. Like they 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 this is someone with a lost soul. They could feel it. They feel empty and cold inside. And this is this is what they asked for. Like I said, they didn't want to heal. They chose to be cold, and now they feeling the repercussions of being cold because they was attacking you doing black magic on you a high priestess they got karma they have or could have had healer guides around them ancestors that was willing to heal them but not anymore because they foolish all right they keep making dumb decisions dumb decision water signs why is it change here yeah the hermit virgo energy all right this is more about the karmic i feel like they have to change they need to do the shadow work in order to bring in the shifts that they want all right, because you guys did your shadow work. All right, the shadow work that you needed to do to get you to this point. You walked your dark night of the soul and you found that light in the tunnel. You've healed. All right, and in the work you've done, shifted, changed, transformed, transmuted your life. Alchemy. This is also turning an inspired thought idea into something tangible. Your business is transforming. It's it's bringing it's it's like it's bringing in revenue. It's, it's bringing in clientele. It's no longer just you know a just open business. No, it's it's <laughs> it's a successful business now. Okay, you guys have all the tools and 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 creative ideas in your crown. Your crown is the mastermind, right? Obviously, right? It's like you guys are a mastermind. You mastered your mind, so. You know how to manifest. This is awesome, water signs. I feel like you guys definitely have people jealous of you. They don't want to admit that they need to do shadow work that and that they failed because their shadow is off balance. It's unaligned. It's distorted. It's wicked. It's evil. Just like you got people with false light, fake smiles. False light is fake smiles, you know, fake being friendly. You know what I'm saying? Even not knowing how to say no. You're saying yes all the time. You're a yes man. That's false light because deep down inside, you feel that's wrong. But you're hiding it with that false light. All right? That's an illusion. Got this person thinking that you agree with them and you know damn for well you should be telling them that they're wrong. Or you smiling in these people's face knowing damn for well you don't really F with them like that. you just using them to get what you want. All right? Or you're around them just to, just to be in their business and then to talk about them with other people. You know, everybody has their little motives and stuff. All right? So it goes... My whole point, it goes, you know, hand in hand with the light and dark. All right. And these people, they ain't false light too. They are. All right. I was going to go more into their shadow, but Spirit is saying they ain't false light. Projecting that they already did the work. And it's you who need to do the work. These people don't want to admit that they're the hermit. All right, they want you to receive karma so they can, that's that's the only way they're going to move on their merry ways. If they spells with Ogun work or with God work, their prayers that work that's supposed to work against you work, that's the only way they're going to get out your life. Well, then they just asking for, for death. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. And that includes spells, okay? These people don't want to admit they're not doing the proper inner work to bring in changes. They're wounded. I don't like this energy, water signs. These people are in your energy because they're spiritually wounded. For especially attacking you. These people, they could be crying at night. They really like in their feelings as well. They could try to do something this new moon and this is not going to work. They're trying to stop you. Listen, it's not going to work. It's like you felt this karmic in your energy because they always in and out of your energy and you know the behaviors, the behavior patterns, the cycles. All right, you just know you're a wise one and you can feel this karmic demon in your energy. You smart, you wise. This could be a fire sign too. You die priestess. That's pretty much the wise one. You guys intuitively picked up a whole group, a whole coven to attacking you guys. And none of their spells work. You could even warn them. None of it is going to work. Now look at them, the whole group walking around with heavy energy because you know and they scared. All right, and they spells is whooping their ass. What they see, all right, is that they magic blessed you. It gave you a new beginning. And they trying to steal that back. Uh-uh, give me that back. Uh-uh, no, you should have did your magic well. Don't be mad now because the spirits blessed us with your death curse. You wasn't even trying to do nothing good. That was a death curse. The spirit transmuted it into a blessing for us. That's not yours. That's ours. The hell? 
You why would you want it anyway? Because if it's if you want it back, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a death curse. It's not gonna be a blessing. <laughs> Dead serious. The, listen, they watching you and your entire family. They watching your destiny. Like they be like watching your destiny in the sense of like spying on your destiny, asking spirit questions about your destiny. This is real sad. Why is harmonic resolution? These people will never be able to manifest you back into their life, manifest forgiveness. They trying to get you to like apologize to them that would never even happen not that you're too prideful but it's not necessary you already forgave them and, and apologize to yourself you know you don't need to apologize to them they need to apologize to the most high to the spirit to their ancestors ephod this is like an ephod priest priestess they need to apologize to their priest priestess because they lied all right this is someone that needs to make it right with god an ephod priest all right or high priestess uh, or somebody that's spiritual, okay? This is someone that, like, attacked people of high ranking. I swear to you, this is a nutcase. They attack other high-ranking spiritual beings, you, people. They look at them as, like, humans, almost like humans. They look at them as just humans, and, yeah, we are humans, humanoids, you know, whatever you want to call it. All right, I'll look at myself as a humanoid, okay? But it's, like, could you, there's humanoids, like, aliens that's, like, human to have, Arms, legs, feet, hands, a neck. <laughs> okay, but um, they may look at you as like regular and other people like regular, but y'all not regular. It's straight karma when someone messes with you. Karmic energy. Some Listen, someone called you a karmic and they was attacking you. They didn't realize that was the most karmic thing that they could have done ever. And this could be wild goon coming after them. They trying to, they keep trying to send Ogun, Ishu, Byron, Sam, D, Papa Legba after you, Archangel Michael, and they all being sent back and causing a lot of towers and mayhem in these people's lives. They can't believe it. Why am I dealing with so much heavy burden? Why am I dealing with so much chaos? This is supposed to be for divine feminine. All right, it's because you messing with, you know, God's child. Listen, Sky Father, this is, you know, this would be God for me. And the Oracle, you was, you was one of God's siblings. Sibyl, all right, Sybils. <laughs> One of God priestess, prophetess. Okay, I hope I said it right. All right, y'all know what I'm trying to say. You're a chosen child of the Most High. All right, anyone that's trying to challenge you will fall. Okay? Let's see, what's the overall energy for my water signs? Look, karma. Karma for the karmic. You are protected by karma as well. Anyone who do you wrong will receive karma tenfold. Yeah, and including death. If they sent death towards you, that's it. Scorpio, Libra, energy is significant. That season is sticking now, and we're close to it. A huge transformation for the collective is going to be happening. A huge, like, metamorphosis, a, a ending that leading to a huge transformation. And I feel like a lot of karma is going to be served this Libra season. A lot of karma, especially people who broke those rules. All right, but any listen, anyone who do you wrong, they get karma, including death. They will get death if they fucking break that fucking law, rule, penalties. It's like one of the penalties I'm getting. They crossed the line. Yeah, and I feel like a karmic knows this. Father Ra's here. They've been warned by God. They keep whipping you. They just going to keep getting whipped. They're going to keep feeling what they want to happen for you. But I love y'all. What signs? Happy New Moon. Namaste.